Lynchburg head coach Steve Kodelka joins us here in the postgame. His team falls to St. Lawrence 14-5, the final. I, I know you can't be pleased with the result, obviously, but silver linings, uh, positives to come out of the game. You know, I, I, first off, hats off to St. Lawrence. You know, I, I thought they were um, I thought they were, they were awesome on film watching them. I've watched them a lot last year. Um, just super impressed with, with Coach Mahoney and what they did. I mean, that they were those three attack when they have or – you know some older guys. Um, I think it's awesome for our our freshman attackmen that were playing just to you know learn from from them. I mean they were unselfish. They were always moving. Um, you know I think we will definitely become a better team from playing from playing St. Lawrence and because we're probably going to learn a lot and watch and, and maybe even steal some things. They were, they were very impressive and, and hats off to them. So you're throwing a lot at your team early in the season here. I mean you took a trip up to Tufts and played them in the yeah. snow. This is a team from the south, by the way. Uh, although it's been an unseasonable uh, patch. In, uh, in that state, but and now here to the classic, and you've got another game tomorrow. So, yeah. wh- how do you talk to your team? What do you say to them through this stretch? Well, I think we got we got to continue to learn, right? I mean, I think that is uh, is, is a journey to this, and you know, I think we, I don't know if we put our best foot forward today. Uh, um, you know, I, I think we could play better. I, I know we can play better. I mean, we, we you know we got some guys injured that that just happened over the last couple of days from from whatever and. Um, but we just we just got to play a little bit better than we did today to, to beat. You know, these are NCAA type quality games, you know, and uh, and so I think you know you, you, we've played some really tough teams. I think it, I think at least at the very end of it, when we get out of this here this weekend, is just kind of understand a little bit about just where we are. I mean, I think that's the beauty of this, right? We have we'll have, we'll be eight games in. You know, we got nine more after this, and with eight of them being uh, ODAC games and one against CNU and. Um, so we'll have a really good feel for where we need to get better at, what we need to do, and, and that's the beauty of coming to this thing. It, it does prepare you for the for that next stretch in your season. Uh, it was a 5-3 game with a couple of minutes left in the first half. and It was 4-3. It was 4-3, and right, and, and then the they ball. scored, correct, and, and he knows exactly what it was. Oh, yeah. uh, then it was 5-3, okay, and then it was two goals by St. Lawrence in the last minute of play in the first half to make it a 7-3 game yep. at the break. Did you think that that was a key moment in that game right Sure. There? I mean, I, I think the 4-3 one was, was crucial because we made a, a, an ill-advised pass, and we – we gave them the ball right back, I and mean, we had all the momentum. We had scored some of these goals. We made a couple adjustments at the end of the first quarter, and our guys had some great possessions in that second quarter early on, and some of them resulted in goals. Some of them were just long possessions, and we, we talk about that. We want that to happen. And and then uh, we picked up a ground ball in the middle. It was an over and back call, and you know, next thing you know, we turn it over within three seconds. And so a very you know un, uncharacteristic play that we made there. And um, and to their credit, they scored on the next possession. So like. You know, th- th- those are th- that's the beauty of this of these games, right? You you these games are won and lost in, in, in micro moments, and uh, that made a five three eight. And then you're right. Then they went. You know, they got two quick ones. They went. They went. Uh, they scored on that really crazy trend. You know, ground ball in the middle of the field. They fought for it. We we fought for it. They picked it up. Bang. Next thing, the kid goes around the front of the goal, dives, makes a great effort. We get the high hit. They called the dead ball foul, which I would, would disagree with, but. Um, you know, and next thing you know, they're a man up and then they score. And so, like, older teams are, are going to be great in those moments. And, and I think they showed – I think they showed their experience at, at multiple times in that game that, um, that that just really trumped us. And, uh, you know, listen, I mean, I, our guys played hard and they battled. I don't I don't take anything away from our players. I mean, I, I love my guys. I'm not going to trade them for anybody. Um, I think they, they, they fought their tails off. We just weren't – as good as we need to be to win a game like this. And, and that's something that we need to figure out the why um, and, and understand that and then, and then get better from there. And, and we will. I mean, our, our guys are a resilient group. They will, they will come back kicking and scratching and ready to roll, and that's, that's what our guys do. Well, it doesn't get any easier. I think you have Amherst tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. Franklin Marshall. I'm sorry, Fra- Franklin and Marshall. Um, so that will be your third game in five days. So what do you want to do tonight? How, how do you guys recover from night from – night- uh, you know, night overnight. Yeah, I mean, we've we've you know we've done this a bunch, so it's like, um, I mean, it's awesome, right? I mean, what, what else would you rather do? Would you rather have another week off before you play and have to <laughs> go back to school and watch film and go to classes? And you know, we still get we get a game tomorrow uh, against a, a really good team, Franklin and Marshall, who, who lost to a really good York team today, and so they're, they'll be coming in here, you know, going after it as well. And um, you know, I'm excited to see how what our how we handle as a team. I mean, this is a great. You know, test for us in, in the NCAA or the ODAC championships, which are run the same way. You lose today, you're done. So, like, we we get this bonus of being able to play tomorrow. And so, um, you know, listen, these guys play lacrosse all the time. That's what they love to do. And uh, 
you know, they might be a little tired tonight, but they'll wake up tomorrow. They'll have a bounce in their step. Our guys love to play. They'll be ready to go tomorrow. Um, and and, I, and I'm, I'm expecting our guys to play better tomorrow. I think they will. Um, this is what they do. And uh, they'll bounce back. So we, you know, we're maybe, maybe a little bit still feeling the, the loss from, from Tuesday night. Um, but like I said, St. Lawrence is really good, and they were fun to watch. I give them a ton of credit, and uh, and we'll be better from playing them. We'll, it'll pay off down the road. Maybe, maybe not tomorrow, but we'll, we'll see it down the road. It'll, it will definitely come back and, and help us at some point. He's Steve Kadelka, the head coach of Lynchburg. They've got Franklin and Marshall tomorrow afternoon. We'll see you then. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Right here on GoMustangSports.tv.